Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. I want to show you a new product I got. It's the Miriyama Mister like people use for mosquito application. Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. I want to show you a new product I got. It's the Miriyama. You may look at it and think, oh, he got a backpack blower. It's not necessarily a backpack blower. This is uh, the mister like people use for mosquito applications or tree and shrub applications, things like that. So I'm really excited about it. We're gonna uh, have it actually used it before and I've got a friend that's gonna help me with the video today named Garrett and Garrett is in the mosquito business. So I thought he could uh, tell me about these pieces of equipment, how to use them and give our impression on this machine. And Mariyama has provided this machine for me and I'm excited to try it out in this video. This will be my first time using it. Matter of fact, this is my first time using uh, one of these type machines ever. I, I'm, I've never, I'm not personally in the mosquito business, but something that I am uh, considering in the future. So we'll see. Let's get started with the video. This is the Mariyama MM181. I've got the, the gas in it, the fuel, mixed fuel. It runs off 50 to one, but I'm gonna go ahead and for this, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna put uh, water in it. There's no, not gonna be any kind of chemicals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put water in the tank. All right, so I've read over the owner's manual and, and let me just show you a couple of the ways you adjust it. Once you crank it, you know, you can um, shut the flow of the water off right here or open it by flipping this valve. It has an adjustment here where you can adjust also the volume of the mist. So if I put it on five, being the highest number, that's more mist. Or if I twist it, you know, it, it's you're closing off that valve and it's obviously going to be left. So I'm going to for this demonstration purpose, I'm gonna leave that open. Got that closed, this valve, and once I turn the blower on, I'll open this up. All right, I told you I had a special guest with this, my friend Garrett, and Garrett is uh, in the weed control and fertilization business, but he also does mosquito applications, and he is familiar with how to do that, so I thought Garrett would be great to come over here, show me what to do. Even though we're just practicing today, we're demonstrating a piece of equipment, uh, I wanna ha learn some proper technique, and obviously, if I was using something more than water uh, I would have my rubber gloves on but you guys can vouch for me on the video I put straight water in the tank and so uh, spare me the, the rubber gloves for this instant but I am a big fan of PPE and, and so should uh, you be so Garrett thanks for being on the video and I want you to uh, talk me through mosquito applications and then we're gonna you know we'll see how well I do and if I screw it up or not all right so when you use a, a backpack piece of equipment obviously the comfort's gonna be key and I, I will say you put this on these straps are nice and padded and the strap that uh, the pad that hits you in the lower back is is very comfortable as well now when you put water in here like you, you know water weighs about eight pounds per gallon so it definitely adds the weight so i think it's going to make the comfort that all that more important uh, with one of these that compared to like a traditional backpack blower so let me let garrett talk us through uh, how to do a mosquito application and we'll see how well i do with it all right so garrett am i you basically spraying from the from the ground up or am I just like what part of the tree you spray the whole tree or half the tree or what's the strategy here yep if you've got you want to start low and you can spray inside of the straw because sometimes mosquitoes will breed in pine straw if it's uh, damp enough so start low and then work your way up as far as you can any kind of limbs that overhang up to around 10 feet uh, it's going to be effective as long as you're spraying underneath the leaf okay I heard the mosquito test, at least in our state, Alabama, was, was a little bit difficult to pass. Was it Was it a challenge for you? It was. Actually, uh, out of the, the four state tests that we had to take here in Alabama, I did have to take one over. <laughs> oh. So, And I did quite a bit of studying. I got you. Yeah. you passed it. You yeah. See, what is it? D, D is for degree or C? <laughs> It's fast, man. What was your impression? I know uh, you have a, a different mister that you use on a regular basis, but... Um, What's your impression of the Mariyama when you put it on? Is that is that basically how it's supposed to function? 
Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, comfort level is probably a little more comfortable than the other one that I'm using. Uh, maybe because it's new or the straps fit a little more snug, at least on my shoulders, but it, it felt more comfortable. Um, the mist, I would need to calibrate that in a little bit more. I think uh, we could dial in that mister to shoot up into the trees a little bit higher. Um, but I, as far as how it compares, it looks like it's going to be doing a, a real similar job, getting underneath leaf, leaf blades real nice. So, so is that, I guess that's important, just like if you're spraying a yard, you want to make sure you calibrate, you know, so you know exactly how much of your insecticide to put in there. Uh, so that, that would need to be done before you start mixing chemicals by using water and figuring out exactly how much water you're using on a given square footage. Yep, you'll want to kind of get your pace down on how, f how fast you can cover uh, a perimeter of a house and then, you know, measure it off how many uh, linear feet are you trapped per uh, volume of water that you're using. So once okay. you do that, you can kind of dial it in and, and that'll just be, again, like what we're doing today, playing with water and, and tweaking the, the, the mist droplet size and how fast we're walking. I got you. All right, let me see how, it didn't load that hard. I'm gonna give it a try. my new hobby of like fishing ping pong and blowing a mosquito mister let me ask you this gear because i was is this, as the mosquito treatment's been a good add-on for your you know from a business standpoint has that been a profitable addition to your business it definitely has um you know apart from the time it's going to take to study your different state tests and meet those requirements uh, once you can just start to offer that as an additional service to the yards you're already on every you know five to eight weeks uh intervals and i mean it it took one email that i sent out to all of my customers and immediately i was in the mosquito business i so. got you well that's good if you got you know if you get a customer list built up now people always say it's easier to market your extra services to your existing customers than to go out and find new customers uh, all right appreciate the tips let me give you one last look at the mosquito mister Appreciate Mariyama for providing the product and uh, enjoying being able to demo it and enjoy learning something about the mosquito industry as well. Thanks a lot, Gary, for joining the video. I'm Jason Creel. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel. There's over 500 videos on the channel, lawn care related. And if you're in the lawn care business, I've got some resources available for you over at lawncarelife.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye.